Vicky Fox. Thank you, Mr. Deputy <laughs> Speaker. Last week, the Leader of the House said that Timpson's review into exclusions would be published soon. So I'm just wondering what kind of soon um, she's referring to. Is it the kind of soon when your boss asks you for something and you say, yes, 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 I'll get onto that soon? Or is it the kind of soon when your partner's asking you to do chores and you're like, yeah, yeah, I'll get on to that soon? <laughs> <laughs> Leader of the House. It's not the latter. I know that one very well. Um, first of all, I'd just like to pay tribute to the Honourable Lady, first for her absolute commitment to eradicating this appalling problem of young people getting into a life of serious crime, and in particular knife crime. She has been absolutely stalwart in her determination to see more done, and she's absolutely right to do that. I can't, as I said last week, I can't give the Honourable Lady a firm date, but what I can say to her is that Timpson's review is considering how schools use exclusion and how this affects all pupils, but particularly why some groups of children are more likely to be excluded. In particular, the review will consider why there are differences in the rates between areas, schools and groups of pupils when the powers schools have to exclude and the framework in which they do so applies to all state-funded schools across England. So the Government does support head teachers in using exclusion as a sanction where it is warranted but the Timpson review, when it comes forward, which will be as soon as possible, will actually consider this subject in more detail and should provide some useful light on the subject.